Hello everyone, welcome to Tech TPLM, a place where you can master programming. Before moving forward to the lesson, I want to remind you that if you like the video lesson, please make sure that you subscribe our channel and enable the bell icon so that you will get notifications when new videos are uploaded. So you will never miss a lesson. I will show a short demonstration about how to subscribe to our channel at the end of this video. Keep watching the lesson. Today we are going to discuss about how to add, remove rows and columns in Excel. This is a very easy lesson but it's very useful lesson. Okay, so you can see I have made a file and that file I saved already and I have given the name derails file. You can see it here you know the name of this place right so this is title bar so you can see details file and i have three sheets in this one first one is employee details second one is product details and third one is a student list okay we'll come back to the employee details so if i want to add an additional column you know what is column means right a column b column c column like that so i have different methods for adding the columns so if i want to add a column before the name column that means in the place of c if i want a new column i can click on this c then i can simply go to this insert button which is in home tab cells group insert button so when you go for insert button you can see an option there insert sheet columns so what if i click this one so when i click this one it push the content of the C column to the right side and an empty C column is added to the left side. So which position you click, it will be adding the column there. What if I want to add a new column before salary? So I can click on this E and I can go to insert, then I can click on what insert sheet columns. So it pulls or push the salary details to the next column and add a new column there. Okay. But this is a tedious method like I have to click, I have to go insert and I have to go click on new column, right? So I'm going to delete this one. You can understand the deleting also. I can click this E, then I go to delete and delete sheet columns, right? So C also, I click this C, then I go to delete and I give delete sheet columns. What is the easy method for adding a column? So you can simply go to this C if you want a column in the C position and you right click on C. So there is an option called insert. So it will automatically insert a column to the left side. Same like if you want to delete, you can, whichever column you want to delete, you can right click on it and you can click on what? Delete button. Correct? So inserting is right. Like right click, then you click on insert. And if you want to delete, right click, then you click on what? Delete. Very simple. What about the rows? For example, I want to add a new row here in the third position. So I can click on row number three, then I go to insert, then I click on insert sheet rows. So you can see it pull the content down and add a new empty row there. Okay, what if I want to add a row here? I can click here. I can go to insert, then I can click on insert sheet rows. So it's add a new row there. So I'm going to delete these two. So I click this one, then I go to delete, delete sheet rows. And I click this one, I go to delete and delete sheet rows. So you might be thinking like, okay, so there is a way with right click also. Yes, there is. So you can right click on row number three, then, I cl then you click on what? Insert. So it will add a new row. And if you want to delete, you can right click, then you click on what? delete okay what if you want to add a new sheet so you can go to the last sheet if you want to add the sheet in the last position you go to the last sheet then you can click on insert insert sheet so it adds a new sheet in that position so what if you want to move it to the last position you can simply click and drag it to the last position for deleting the sheet also either you can delete from here delete sheet or i'm adding even you can add a new sheet by clicking this plus button. We already know that in the first video. Then if you want to delete it by right click, it is very easy. You right click, then you click on what? Delete. Done. So I hope you are very clear about adding, removing rows and columns and adding, removing the sheets in Excel. 
thank you very much for listening and we will see another video how to resize the columns and rows in the next video bye how to subscribe to our channel step one click on the channel icon or view channel option to go to the channel page step two click on the subscribe button step three enable the bell icon to get notified when new lessons are uploaded congratulations you are now subscribed and never going to miss any lesson thank you